Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about the character of works of service. So we're going to be talking about what's the mindset of a worker of service for the Lord. In Ephesians 4 verse 11 to 13 says, So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we reach the unity in the faith and in knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, at attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. So, um, for, for all of us, we have our own gift from, from the Lord. We don't need to be a prophet or a pastor right away just to encourage someone encourage someone for God so if that is your calling for the Lord to be a pastor a teacher then maybe we can start by being an encourager to send encouragement for people because everyone each one of us who knows God and who knows Christ we have a calling that we will receive from him so we have two things that we can keep in mind as a mindset of the Lord's workers or workers for the Lord's service. And number one, it's perseverance. So the workers of God never gives up no matter what the circum circumstances is. They are pressed on. They continue moving forward even though it's really difficult in the situation or how it's gonna happen because they are led by the Holy Spirit. No matter the hindrance, the temptations, or the discouragement, the Lord's worker is always pressed on. So recently, I attended the parent orientation in my daughter's school in Hope Christian Academy and I learned that there's five learnings, law of learnings, that a student, you know, must have. So, I'm going to be putting what it looks like, the illustration of how the law of learning works. So, in the illustration, you will notice there's a horse, a person, a carrot, a load, and a stick. Question number one, how heavy is the load? Question number two, how long is the stick? Number three, how effective are the controls? Number four, how hungry is the donkey? And number five, how big is the carrot? So these are the five laws of learnings for students. But how are we going to do it? You know, how are we going to explain it the same way as a believer and as a worker of service for the Lord? We also have five not learnings but five ways as a character of god's worker and number one how heavy is the responsibility as a workers as a worker of the lord so that's how are we, we're going to relate it number one how heavy is the responsibility let me read to you the scripture in two in second Timothy 2 verse 15 says do your best to present yourself to god as one approved worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth i always believe what the scripture said in luke 12 verse 48 that from everyone who has been given much much will be demanded and from the one who has been entrusted with much much more will be asked so in the work of service for the lord god will give us an assignment an assignment and each one of us, we are required to do it, the mission for the Lord. But we, each one of us, we have our own, let's say, we have our own assignment that all God can only know how heavy it is for us to handle. God will need, not give us something that an assignment that God knows that we cannot handle and we cannot do it do it for him always remember that the Lord will always help us in the assignment that he will give in us so number two in the law of learning says how long is the stick but for the mindset of our Lord's worker is how long is the patience 
In Romans 12 verse 12, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Be mindful that not all people will agree to all your encouragement for the Lord. They will not they may not agree about the, your desire of your heart for the Lord, but always remember, take heart because God knows who are the people who reject His word, who reject the truthfulness. Just be submissive to the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit guide you when you do the encouragement for others. Always be patient. In the law of learning, number three, it asks, how effective is the control? But in number three, as a work, as the Lord's worker's mindset, the question is, how effective is one's faith? Now, faith is very important when we do our service for God. So in 2 Timothy 4 verse 7, I have fought the good fight, finished the race, and kept the faith. Despite of all your discouragement for the Lord, don't lose hope. Always remember that your if your faith increase, that's where the discouragement start to cease. In number four, in love learning, how hungry is the donkey? In number four, in the worker Lord's workers mindset is how hungry does one's spirit for the Lord? So in Matthew 5 verse 6, Blessed are those who are hungry and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. A worker of service for God is always hungry and thirsty for God and His Word. We are always, our heart is always filled with the Holy Spirit. We always look for God and the Holy Spirit to possess our heart because that's our fuel. That's our fuel to encourage people if we are hunger if we are hungry for the lord surely the lord will feed our spirit with his words and his loving kindness so just be just have faith and let your heart let the holy spirit lead your heart when it in times of hunger when you're hungry for the for god and his word so number five, in love learning, it's asked, how big is the carrot? But in number five, in the Lord's worker's mindset is, how big is the reward? In Revelation 22 verse 12, Behold, I am coming quickly and my reward is with me, to render to every man according to what he has done. Revelation 22 verse 4, they will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. Nothing is more achieving than to see the face of our Creator and Jesus. And eternal, that is forever. You will be residing in the kingdom of God forever. That is much more than a reward than anything in this world. Nothing in this world compared to in the heavenly kingdom of God and all of us we are hunger and thirsty for God's kingdom so as a worker of service for the Lord number two aside from perseverance we should have a repentful heart repentance repentance is very important it is because workers of the Lord is prone in temptation and it may a lot of things a lot of factors that you will the enemy will use to you so one that you can do is when you pray your past is no longer you in your present because jesus already gave you your new self so when you repent from that always remind yourself what are the things that you will lose that you that you will lose in the future god already forgave us and already because of our repentful heart god notices that and forgave us so always not to come back from the passing that we are we experienced before we already know what it means and what's the cause of sin want to surrender it to god you repent it to the lord you pray to god then there's no reason for us to come back again in repentance, the armor of God is always needed. The belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness, gospel of peace, shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. 
without this armor of God, then it will be impossible for us to fight the works of the enemy. If we have works for the Lord, the enemy is also at work to ruin the beautiful plan of the Lord that is in store for us. And most importantly, pray to God. Be prayerful in all occasions, in all circumstances, in any kinds of prayers and requests presented to the Lord. So that's it for today, guys. I hope I encourage you about the message of God when it comes as a proof worker of service for the Lord. So take care. God bless you. And I'll see you on my next vlog.